so filled with joy I can barely contain myself. Dr. Anderson telephoned me today to give me the most wonderful news. My love, you're going to be a father. My darling Samantha, I just received the news and I simply can't put into words how happy I am. I wish I could pack my bags right now and fly home. I can't believe it. Gonna be a father. Change your reckless way of living. <laughs> Cross over the bridge, leave your vehicle past behind you, and true romance will find you, brother. Cross over the bridge. I know it isn't easy to resist temptation's call. But think of how your broken heart will hurt you when you fall. Cause someday you will find that you are hopelessly in love. And she'll belong to someone else to show the stars above. Change your reckless way of living. Cross over the bridge, leave your pickle pet behind. My darling Samantha, it's been weeks since I've heard from you and I can't help but worry. I do hope everything is alright. I'm well and safe. It's been weeks since the boys and I have seen any combat. Boredom is starting to get a hold of them. But not me. I'm glad. I've seen enough death for a hundred lifetimes. I guess all I can do now is wait. Hopefully for the news that I can come home. All I want is to be able to hold you in my arms again. I miss you so much. Love, Henry. You know, after three weeks, you'd think the smell of kraut would be gone from this place. Did you hear? Hitler's dead. Can you believe that guy? Fucking coward. How did it happen? Jesus Christ, James. It's not funny. What are you writing? Another one of your silly love letters? You know, Connell, you wouldn't be so bored if you found a way to keep yourself occupied. Well, like what? Read a book? Write a journal? Sure. Why? So I get in touch with my sensitive side, talk about my feelings and my emotions. May 3rd, 1945. After 10 months, I finally got to use real toilet paper to wipe my ass. Man, did it feel good. The end. So how far along is she? Your girl, how far along is she? Eight months, three days today. Shit. Bad enough you got crowd shooting at you. You had to go and make a baby back home, didn't you? That explains why you've been looking like shit the last few weeks. Eight months. Any news? Not yet. Yeah, I don't sweat it, Sullivan. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. How about you, James? Got a special girl back home? Oh, 
I'm sure I do. Let's see, I got Lisa, Elizabeth, Eileen, and we can't forget about Edith. I tell you, Sullivan, you can't believe the stuff that girl does to me. Mm. Is she going to marry this girl of yours back home? I was going to ask her before I shipped out. But... You want to ask me something? Yeah, don't worry, Sullivan. This war will be over soon. You'll be back in sunny San Diego writing your novels, proposing your lady in no time. Isn't that right, Walker? Walker here heard some of the boys over in the 502 ran into some crop POWs. Cowards tried to make a run for it, scattering the woods like little rodents. Word is the Ruskies caught up to him and started picking them off one by one. Lucky bastards. I wish I could have been there. I would have sent some of those fuckers to hell myself. You ever think we were the lucky ones? A few less lives on our conscience? Christ, you're so dramatic. You really are a writer. Tell me, Sullivan, have you even fired your sidearm once since basic training? I've been lucky. Besides, my job is to save lives, not take them. Connolly. Hey, Sullivan, you got a letter from Mrs. Isabella Johnson. Unfortunately, it looks like someone fouled up and sent to one of the boys up in Kirschberg by mistake. By mistake? Apparently, there's another Henry Sullivan up in the 503. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Wait! Th that letter. It's important. Listen, Doc, I wish I could help you out, but my hands are tied. This kind of thing happens, and there's really nothing I can do about it. Who's Mrs. Isabella Johnson? Samantha's mother. I don't get it. Why would she be writing me? Didn't we make a brief supply stop up in Kirschberg about a month ago? Sullivan. Kirschberg, about a month ago. Didn't we stop up there? Yeah. Well, where is that crowd town from here? miles north. Well, that's just a day's trip. Keith, not just the two of us. You gotta stop being such a pansy, Sullivan. You know as well as I do that our bombers leveled every Nazi strategic point from here to Gerbron. If it's Crouch you're worried about, there's nobody out there. Come on. I'm bored as hell and I can't take another minute in this shithole. We leave tonight. We'll be back tomorrow before anyone in either one of our companies knows we're missing. We'll stay off the roads if it makes you feel any better. Besides, it won't be just the two of us. What do you say, Walker? You want to take a little break from your book reading? Much further. It looks like we follow this path a few more hours until we reach this bridge. Then it should be a straight shot east from there. About 13, 14 miles tops. If we're lucky, we should get there before dark. Walk, you got some matches? Asshole. Sullivan? You gonna finish that? Thanks. So what are your plans once all this is over? I don't know. I think maybe I become a lifer like my old man. Not everyone's cut out to be a scholar. Or a writer. Me, I'm a soldier. 
Aside from pleasing women, it's the only thing I've been good at. So what is about this letter? It's got you so on edge. On edge? <laughs> Last time I saw a face like that, Walker and I are about to jump out of a plane over Normandy. It's just... It's been weeks since I've heard from Samantha. I'm just getting a little worried. You ever get this gut feeling that something's wrong? A week ago, you had crowds throwing potato mashers in your foxhole. Believe me, you think you got it bad. Imagine how she feels. Relax, Sullivan. Everything's <laughs> Walker! Walker, what the fuck are you doing? Get some cover! Mitchell! Mitchell! Bad dream. It all happened so fast. One moment. I was being pinned down by what seemed like a dozen German MGs. The next time I was watching my platoon getting blown to pieces by armed bombers. And I couldn't save any of them. Not a single one. I lost so many friends. You can't dwell on it, Sullivan. You did everything you could. How's Walker doing? He's gone. You Nazi fuck! James, he surrendered. Give him your gun. What? So give me your fucking sidearm, Sullivan. What are you doing? I won't shoot none of our man, even if he is a fucking Nazi. Give him your gun! Pick it up! Pick it up! Surrendered, James. Surrendered? Those bastards killed millions of people. You want me to show compassion? It's just... It wasn't right. Was it right? 
Why don't you tell that to Walker over there? Wake the fuck up, Sullivan. Nothing about war is right. I've done everything I could for him. He's in God's hands now. Breaks my heart. He's just a boy. He's barely lived. Something I can help you with, soldier? No. Thank you. A man named Connolly passed by here earlier. He was looking for another soldier named Henry. A friend of yours? Is everything all right, soldier? I'm sorry. You remind me of someone back home. I should go. Thank you.
from over there and then I snuck up behind you shot you in the back of the head pretty much sums it up right Walker Mitchell what are you guys doing here I think the question you should be asking yourself is what are you doing here but Walker knows why he's here hell even I know why I'm here and I haven't been the sharpest tool in the shed but you on the other hand Come on, Sullivan. You tell me the weird shit hasn't been happening to you in this place? Just five minutes ago I put a bullet in the back of your head and yet here you are. Perfectly fine. You remember what happened to Walker? BAM! Took one for the home team. Right in the heart. Dead. Well, I don't know about you, Sullivan. But that looks like private first class Mitchell Walker to me. Hell, even that bullet wound that's got you moaning and groaning more than my Edith is gone. There it is. I can see it in your eyes. You're starting to put the pieces together. Well, I bet you're wondering how I got here, right? You know, I asked my father once if becoming a soldier would finally make him proud of me. And you know what he said? He said the greatest honor for a soldier is to die on the field of battle for his country. Can you believe my old man? He made it all sound so glorious. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened to me. I'm here. Walker's here. You're here. Won't my father be proud of me now, huh? He'll be proud of all of us. We're real, genuine American heroes. James. You're what? You gotta stop blaming yourself for everything, Sullivan. Forget about it. It's water under the bridge, as far as I'm concerned. You know, there is one thing you could do for me since, you know, you kind of owe me one. She asked me to give this to you. But she made me promise. Promise? That you wouldn't open it till it was the right place and the right time. I don't understand. Don't worry, Sullivan. You'll know when and where when you get there. That's why I have your word. Oh, Sullivan, one more thing. Try not to lose these next time.
What are you looking at me like that for? Ask me something.